top three ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, and yes, here we are, we are back this winter week to analyze together three new cases that have shocked the web for their peculiarity. If you appreciate the format of this series, don't forget to follow us and press the bell to stay up to date. And while we light the fire to warm up, make yourself comfortable and we begin the broadcast of the third position in the standings. The Woman on the Highway The story behind this video is set in Canada. We are a few miles from Riel Beach in Alberta, and the author of the video is driving along Highway 897 with his driver friend Trina. The highway is very long and has little traffic during the day, especially at night. It is August 6, 2021, it is 4.40 am and our dot Jace publishes in his TikTok channel two truly terrifying videos during the journey by car. In the middle of the night and in total darkness the girls see what appears to be a woman walking on the side of the road in a long white dress. The figure seems to be correctly inserted in the context and there are no video overlays that suggest some editing. Visibly shaken and frightened by what they had seen, the two girls decide to make a U-turn and retrace the road in the opposite direction to see if that woman was still present at the side of the road. With great amazement, the two girls film the woman who continues to walk in total darkness. In the comments someone claims that she does not have feet, someone claims that she has no eyes but two black holes, others claim that they have already met the same woman on the same highway in past years. Someone else claims it is the entity of some victim of a car accident. The woman appears to be dressed in the 1950s, with a crown in her hair and apparently without shoes. The two girls posted the videos with hope that someone will recognize this person and leave information about it. For now, although the local police have been alerted, no one has recognized the woman, and it is really difficult given the video quality to issue a valid judgment, and what do you think? The Quarantine In second position this week we will talk about a video recently published on January 15, 2022, on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall which contains some videos shot in a room by a Japanese salesman, who during a business trip was forced to remain in quarantine at the interior of a foreign hotel. What was supposed to be a quiet and boring stay, actually turned out to be terrifying and creepy. The man is video conferencing with a family member, and while discussing food provided by the hotel, someone knocks on the door again. また。ん。ちょ、今どこ走るまだ。え、何してんの。ちょっと見て。え、その強盗とかだったらやばいんじゃない。ま、ショック、ちょっとフリーズ、フリーズしてるけど、仕事取れなくない。あ、大丈夫
前の部屋のやつがなんかいたずらでやってんじゃないはい。On his last night in the hotel, the man is awakened during the night again by noises in the door. When the man re-enters the room and turns around, all the doors to the room are inexplicably wide open. And things go from bad to worse, because subsequently the noises at the door seem to come from the bathroom, so the man got up to check something very scary from the PC camera. While the man is in the bathroom, some plastic bottles seem to move by themselves, causing one to fall to the floor. Are we witnessing an experience inside a haunted hotel room or is it a cleverly orchestrated hoax? Nobody knows but among the comments someone claims to have experienced the same anomalies. The Ghost Runner Recently, a young paranormal investigator named Malachi along with his friend Jacob uploaded a video series all produced in January 2022 on his YouTube channel titled Hoosier Paranormal. These videos are about an interesting investigation conducted by Malachi at Randolph County Infirmary located in Winchester, Indiana, USA. The two boys, after doing some research on the site, discovered that one of the rooms belonged to a boy named Noah who tragically died as a result of measles during World War II. During the documentary, Malachi decided to place one of the cameras inside Noah's room and managed to capture something rather disturbing. After hearing a loud noise from the other side of the building, Jacob runs to look for the source of the strange sound but moments after he has passed through the door of Noah's room. Something clicks very quickly behind him, the only thing visible is a head is a couple of feet accompanied by the sound of footsteps at high speed. Malachi says that he and Jacob were alone in the building that evening and that he clearly heard the sound of footsteps without seeing anything. To try to understand if he and his friend were the victims of a prank by some homeless, Malachi tried to reproduce the scene inside his home, failing to replicate what was captured in the building.
However, none of the tests carried out seemed to even remotely resemble what was captured by the camera from Noah's room. Dear friends, also for this week our usual episode ends here, thanks for watching. Always follow us on our social networks, and on our YouTube channel, so as not to miss future releases, good night.